You don't even need the snippers. There we go. That bundle of sticks, that's what we were looking for. I picked up that branch probably nine months, maybe even a year ago in the middle of COVID on one of our walks. And I brought it home, much to Mrs. Brown's chagrin as we were walking down the street. And then I honestly completely forgot that it was up there and it is well past dry at this point. We have got a lot of leftover stabilizing dye and I was wondering if I would be able to do a version of Heather Gems with twigs. Heather is a um, brush, I think, a plant of some sort, and they actually take the stems, dye them, um, and epoxy them together to make what they describe as gems. It does have a, a certain gemstone look to it. If I can replicate or even get something mildly similar with twigs, but that's what we're gonna try. Bark on this tree branch is gonna get in the way with dying. So I wanna see how much of that I can remove. Um, a couple of these larger pieces I think are too big for what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna see if I can't split them. All right, so I just cut this down on the bandsaw. And I don't think I'm gonna share that footage. Just presume that I did that super safely and that way I don't have to lie to anyone on camera. All right, now we have a lot of sticks. In order to avoid my weight solution from the last video, I'm going to weld together some nuts into some large weights that will help hold down our twigs. If you have any photo sensitivity, uh, I just jump for a little bit. There's one down. I've got two more. I don't have large enough ones for two more of those but we'll just make do as best we can. So if you watch the ramen knife handle video you'll remember that we've got a lot of stabilizing resin in these three main dyes. Uh, extreme pink, emerald green, electric blue, bum 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 bum, electric blue is I want to separate these sticks into piles. That one might be too big. You know what? That might be too big. I'm gonna bifurcate this one on the bandsaw as well. Yeah, that was just the safest thing that I'm never, never going to show you. Okay, so, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. We're not, we're not doing that. It's not really my thing. Uh, it yeah. occurs to me that my weights might actually not do a whole heck of a lot just from the shape of these sticks and the shape of these weights. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's not overthink it. I'm in the pot. is the blue and if I recall they almost don't fit yeah cool 
Yeah, pretty snug. The more I think about this, the more I wonder if these weights are going to do me any good whatsoever. Uh, well, I guess we'll just see what happens. This one in blue, and this one in the emerald green. Will this actually do anything? Maybe. Yeah, that will do something. That was a failure. Did you hear that? It just went all the way straight down to the bottom. All right, so there's a weight at the bottom. I probably didn't need to even add the weights. They don't appear to actually be the right shape to weight down sticks. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this started. I think more important is just getting them dyed. I might just have to dye them once and then flip, flip a bunch of the sticks around that are sticking out and do it a second time. Turn on the vacuum and it should start pulling a vacuum here. So what the bubbles are, that's actually air in the sticks that are being vacuumed out being pumped out of the sticks and we're going to replace that with dyed resin. Again, I don't care about the resin portion of this so much as I care about the dye portion of this. It is 3.30 on July 11th at the moment and I will come back in a few hours and see how we're doing. All right, it's like six o'clock and if you see some bubbles still, it is definitely still bubbling. But uh, I think I'm going to turn this off and flip it, flip some of those pieces around just so I get good coverage. Editor Peter here, and truthfully, I just try my best to take what Maker Peter has given me and present it in a way that makes him look like he, he might know what he's doing. But I, he's got one glove on. I can see the other glove in frame. It's not like we're holding the camera. It's on a tripod. They're dripping. I, I mean, I get it. He's trying to flip these things end to end. <sighs> this guy, he drives me crazy. All right, all right. It looks like we did it. It looks, it looks like we did it. Again, I don't care as much about the resin and the stabilizing as I do about getting good dye. Let's see what happens. All right, I'll let it bubble till it stops and then we'll go on to the next step. Uh, it looks to me as though the bubbles have stopped. It's like 7.30 here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the pump. I don't see any more bubbles. Tomorrow is Monday, and I'm going to let it sit for a couple of days and just soak. So these have actually been sitting in here for a week, which means they should be good and saturated. Toaster oven for 45 minutes at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, fresh out of the oven! Oh, I thought this was going to be the pink one. It's just got it's got pink dye on the top of it, but this is the emerald green. Hopefully, we've got color throughout these twigs. Oh yeah, okay. We've got dye throughout the whole stick. I think that's blue throughout. I don't know if it's as deep blue on the inside, but it's definitely on the inside, hopefully. Yeah. Look at that. Cool. That's a good color. I like the pink a lot. Typically what you've done with Heather Gems is these are soaked in resin and then smashed in a really big industrial machine. I don't have a really big industrial machine for smashing, so we're going to do something different. It's going to become our own thing at this point. So I've kind of folded this one over a little bit. Just, just a little tighter, so everything's just a little tighter together. I 
Resin today we're going to be using Total Boat High Performance Resin. Um, I'm not sure how many ounces we're going to need. Let's start with 12 ounces and see where that gets us. I'm going to do one in clear and one in black and we'll see which one we prefer. Oh, I hear power tools in the distance. It warms my soul. Someone on my block is using power tools. Maybe a planer? Hard to tell. I have a series on this channel called Dye Trying, which is where we try household pigments. And this is just ground up charcoal briquettes. This is just regular old lump charcoal that you get for your barbecue. And I went ahead and put it in a coffee grinder and got this powder. I mean, it's nothing revolutionary. People have been using um, charcoal for dye and pigment for centuries. But we didn't have to pay extra for it. It was already in the house. Tasha Yar hates this one weird trick. put this urethane mold in here to give them a little support. Maybe I'll put a couple molds on the, I've got two more. I'll put two more molds on this side and just kind of keep them up against this wall. And we'll just keep it all from falling over. Actually, these can probably just stand right up. Yeah, those, that's smarter. That makes more sense. We'll just stand those two up and uh, we'll keep everything smashed up against the side. All right, put the lid on it and put it under pressure. Under pressure. And we'll pressurize this up to 50 PSI. Look at that, that looks so cool. They totally don't look like Heather Gems. They don't look at all like Heather Gems, um, but they, they are interesting. So let's start with this small section of clear one here. So we're turning around 1100 RPMs and I'm going to be using my easy wood carbide tools for it. Should uh, cut through it pretty well. So that plastic bottle just destroys people's knuckles. Put that down as a fun little side effect. There we go.
used to sell bottle stoppers at $15 a piece. Now at that time I wasn't a resin guy, I didn't, I didn't do any resin, so that was all wood. Um, and so I would sand bottle stoppers to maybe $240 and then be done with it. I think we're going to have to do a little bit more than that on this one. And this is $600 and $800. Ooh, I'm starting to be able to see through the piece even while it's turning. Right, I'm going to put a little plastics polish. The micro mesh does the heavy lifting. I always like the way it looks with this on there. And now we're going to start the whole process over with the charcoal blank. This is absolutely the least efficient way to do this. Oh, it's the ice cream man. You hear him? Not today, ice cream man. You're not going to lure me out to your illicit goods. You have a dollar? You asking me for a dollar? You hear the ice cream man? I do hear the ice cream man. No, I don't have a dollar. Neither do I. Ice cream man! <laughs> I cannot see where the tape is now. Are we close? I have no idea. That was crazy. That thread just kept going and going. No, we're not close. I mean, relatively speaking. It's on. This goes on. This goes, oh, that's a little loose. And so you just take a piece of paper towel Tighten things right up. It's not the worst idea I've ever had, but this part of it is a little inconvenient. There we go. No more attacks from the plastic bottle. Start again with the sandpaper. Deja vu here. What do we got here? We got the trailer hitch knobby shape. This is the last grit at 800. 
Let's have a look and see. Looks pretty cool. Let me grab my micro mesh. Micro mesh starts at 1500, goes through to 12,000. It's its own grit system. Just work through the grits. Put on some plastic polish. The goal was to make some approximation of heather gems. Uh, I got sticks, I can dye them all the way through, so I know that works. I just need to figure out a different way of binding them together. That's, that's doable. That being said, these are really cool looking. The gaps in between the twigs give a depth that makes it very interesting. And then on the charcoal one, the dark of the charcoal makes the colors really pop. Uh, and you, if you look in really close and the grain of all the wood that's dyed, the center section doesn't seem to take dye and that's actually kind of interesting as well. So each one of these has a little dot at the middle which kind of gives them a unique feature. This video is going to end up being super long but since I haven't been posting videos as frequently I figured you wouldn't mind a little longer format. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. That actually helps me out a ton and I will catch you guys next time.